you take a look at the start list. You've got Vladimir Morisov of Russia, Rowdy. It was a huge disappointment earlier in the 100-meter competition. Disqualified up right next to Nathan Adrian now in a race where the start is absolutely crucial. You got Ning Zetao of China up there in lane one who won the 100 free last night. Part of that huge night for China. Boy, right. good. Start good. Yeah, start good there. He's still quick off the block. Very good. Orsi from Italy also in lane number three. Look at the churning in the water there. They they are tightly bunched there. Nathan Adrian, He's though, out front. is out ahead. Morisov is clearly about a half body length behind him. And Nathan Adrian of the United States oh! looking good again with an American record for Nathan Adrian. Wow. That's is Nathan Adrian, folks. <laughs> that is the Nathan Adrian we have come to love and honor as one of the best sprinters in the world today. And that is not only American record, that is the fastest time in the world this year. That takes Colin Jones' mark away that was set in Rome in 2009. Well, you see Morozov, he uses that kick plate so well, but he just doesn't get up as well as Nathan Adrian. Watch Adrian all the way down the pool in lane number four. You can see him right there. Keep him, keep him going, and he just got that great kick turning away. Boy, it just looks like total, total chaos out there, but look at that stretch he has out in front. Even though his arms are spinning a mile a minute, he keeps a hold of that water all the way, never slips at 21.37. He's got to be just thrilled with that swim. Doesn't want to make excuses, did not want to kind of lean on some shoulder problems that he's had recently as any kind of excuse for the seventh place finish in the 100, an event where he was the defending world and Olympic champion way off the pace last night in the 100 but nathan adrian with a new american record 21 3 7 beats cullen jones that he set in rome by three tenths with nathan adrian the new american record holder what did that swim feel like did you know you were going as fast as you were it felt good um you know it's it's a game of energy management going through three swims but you know in, in the ready room i i felt that i had a good one in me and you know if if you know, for some reason tomorrow I don't feel good. I don't want to feel like I wasted an opportunity. So tonight I just went for it, and uh, you know, really, really happy with that result. So what does that do for your approach tomorrow in the final? I mean, hopefully I just kind of go through the motions and save my energy through the day, and then uh, can kind of. I would just like to repeat that, really. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Dan.